All right, so in this video, I wanna share a big issue that I encountered with DMM and their NEMA 23, or supposedly NEMA 23, frame size AC servo motors. Um, so DMM have actually confirmed that this issue only hasn't only affected me, but other people as well. And so uh, before I go any further, I just wanna say that uh, this issue was resolved peacefully. Eventually I did get a prepaid label and return the motor for a full refund and so I can't complain. And another thing is that, um, I guess for some context, I have a 6040 CNC router that came with NEMA 23 stepper motors and I just wanted a drop-in plug-and-play replacement for the steppers to upgrade them to servos. So I really didn't want to deal with making my own mounts and you know dealing with all that. And so DMM, from my research, was the only company that I could find that advertised a 400 watt AC servo motor in a NEMA 23 frame size. Unfortunately, when I received the motor, I quickly d discovered that that wasn't the case. Uh, I really don't think they should be advertising this as a NEMA 23 motor. And so that's what I'm gonna share in this video. And so to the right of the motor, so this is the 57N. This is their supposedly NEMA 23 frame size, and here we have a generic NEMA 23 stepper motor. And you can see right away that the DMM motor is a little bit bigger. And so it's actually the very common 60 millimeter or NEMA 24 uh, frame size 400 watt AC servo motors, but what they've done is they've modified the front plate to try to make it as NEMA 23 as they could. And so things like the pilot face is the same dimension, same goes for the shank stick out and shank diameter. But unfortunately, the issue that you encounter comes from the motor being larger than 2.3 inches squared, which is what a NEMA 23 motor should be. And so if we look at the mounting holes on the front, you'll see that they're not circular. It's almost like they've been modified as an afterthought. And the reason for that is if we look in here, I'm trying to see if it's focused in the camera, but you basically have no clearance for the actual bolt head to go th for the bolt head because the screw has to align itself in sort of the tightest corner of the circle. Um, and as you can tell, uh, these are my smallest diameter bolts as far as the head goes. And if you try to push them in as far as you could into the corner, you can see that they're nowhere near the middle or uh, nowhere near the mounting circumference for NEMA 23 motors. And so if I try to use this uh, mount, this NEMA 23 mount that came with my machine, it's basically impossible to use with these motors. When I contacted DMM about this, they've told me that other people have encountered this issue as well and they suggested modifying the spacing on basically drilling out the holes on my machine to try to uh, accommodate the wide the wider mounting circumference so larger than the, than it should be for NEMA 23 and uh, I think that's a bit ridiculous for me to have to start modifying machine to accommodate basically a flaw uh, and the design of their motor if they truly were trying to sell a 400 watt AC servo. And so, yeah, another issue is that these holes aren't circular either like they should be. And so, um, you know, if maybe uh, I can't fit a bolt head on the back of this, I would, if they were circular holes, I'd be able to maybe tap these holes and mount the bolts in through the other way but uh, that is impossible with these. And so yeah, like I said, I've returned this motor. I actually have another set of AC servos on the way that I think I'm gonna be happy with. And so in conclusion, um, and also you can't find in the drawings for this motor, you can't actually see that you would run into clearance issues trying to you know fit a bolt the way it should fit to use you know NEMA 23 spacing. And so there's no way I could have seen this issue uh, before I received the motor and uh, at the very least they did allow me to return this at no expense and so I figured you guys should know this if you're also shopping and looking at these motors and uh, yeah thanks for watching